I'm George Cow. In this short video, I want to discuss how selling can feel like an act of generosity versus how it typically feels to us heart-based entrepreneurs is selling often feels like we're, ta we're, we're, we're get asking a favor from someone, we're, we're taking from them. But the truth is, we're not just asking them for money, we're also giving them something of, and here's the key, of equal or higher value. And that's when selling feels generous, is when we give something of higher value, that the person that we can um, clarify, that the person that we're selling to, the customer, understands that they're getting something of higher value than the money they're being asked to give. In other words, what they're buying feels like a better deal than what they're paying for. That's when selling becomes an act of generosity. So you've, all, you, you've, you've probably experienced this before. You're already paying for something on a regular basis and then you find another service that does the same thing that you've been buying but does it, maybe does it even better and maybe it's even more affordable. But at the least, it's either, it needs to be either does it something better for the same amount of money or it needs to be does the same thing but is more affordable. Does that make sense? So that's when selling becomes an act of generosity is, is you're asking for the same amount of money but, but your service is better than what they're already paying for. Now, so, so it's up to you as the business owner to frame your offering as being a better deal than what your customer is already paying for elsewhere. Okay, and you don't need to, of course, name competitors and name other companies or providers. But you can say, you know, you're probably paying this amount for this kind of service elsewhere. Well, this is will get you the same results, but you're paying less. Or, you know, you're probably already buying this kind of thing elsewhere, but um, I'm going to get you even better results. Okay, and maybe it's the same amount that you're, you're you're charging for. Now, let's say that you are selling something that they're not already paying for elsewhere. Then how can selling be feel like a generous act, then it's your job to explain and, 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 and clarify the value that the fact that they're paying $100, $500, $1,000, okay, let's just say you're selling something that's $1,000, then you need to make sure they understand that they're going to be receiving more than $1,000 worth of value. And one way of doing that, of course, is you might be asking the question, how much is it worth to you if... I can help you solve this problem or achieve this result. Does that make sense? How much would it be worth to you? Now, you know, if it's worth to them $50,000, $100,000 for you to get them that result and you're only charging them $1,000, it feels like such a great deal. It feels like such an act of generosity. Now, what's important is that you need to believe it yourself based on the results that you've been able to create for other people. And right now, if you're, if you're not sure you can create that result, then you need to charge less. So that it's, it feels like an act of generosity. Does that make sense? Um, in the notes of this video, which I always include more notes attached to the video, I will, um, I will share more uh, ideas and I'll also include an article about the four ways that you can build more trust. So that, guess what? When you make the offer, it feels like more of a generous act. So I hope that's helpful. And until the next video, I wish you well. And uh, there you can see Buddy and... He's playing with a new friend. Oh, now he's coming back. He's such a good boy. All right, take care.